Now, as you work, you might find that sometimes it's hard to get into the areas you want to paint on. If that happens, you can enable cross-section easily to get to those bits. Just go to the Scene tab of the 3D panel and enable it at the bottom. Just like that. By default, it'll have a plane visible, but if you don't like it, you can turn it off, like so. Or you can change the color and visibility here, of course. If you'd rather just see a thin line to show you where the model edge is, you can enable intersection here. Click the Flip button here to see the other half. You can also change the offset or tilt or the axis of the cross-section with these fields at the bottom. We can change the offset to minus 15, for instance, to get to that side without her arm being in the way. You can play with those on your own. Of course, it's possible that you already have a texture and all you want to do is tweak it here on the model. That's easy, too. Just go to the 3D panel, to the Material pane, and click on the Edit Texture icon next to the kind of texture you want to load. In this case, it would be Diffuse. Choose Load Texture from the menu, browse to the texture you want to use, and open it. If you have another texture that you have to open to, then go ahead and do that one as well. In this case, I have to do the material top on the upper body in order to make sure that I have them both. And there we go. There it is. It'll show up with all its layers and masks intact. The name of the new texture will even replace the name of the texture that is showing. It's really easy. In this case, because I'm lazy, I'm using another skin by L.O. Elliott with Fint Falcon's new bikini on it. And you can see the name here. If you want to add a different kind of texture mode, you do that here too. I'll put a bit of a bump on her suit so you can see how that works. Just click on the Edit Texture icon of the texture mode you want to make. We need bump strength for a bump map. And either load a texture or start a new one from the flippy. I don't have one ready, so I'll make a new one. Now that we have a new texture, we have to tell Photoshop that we want to paint on it and not a texture that uses another mode. In the 3D panel, on the Scene tab, choose Paint On, Bump. Or you can go to the 3D menu and choose Paint Mode, Bump, over here. Now because the bump is determined by light and dark, I'm going to open the new texture and make it black to start with. That will be the lowest elevation on the bump, with white being the highest, of course. Double-click, Invert, Save and close. Then just paint with white and you have a bump. Of course, if you're doing this for Second Life, you can't use bump maps there, and you can't burn shading onto a texture here in Photoshop. But if you have an application that will let you burn shading, this is how to get a bump to burn. Now let's change back to painting on the diffuse so I can show you something else. 3D, Paint Mode, Diffuse. If you want to paste an image onto the model, it will of course wind up on a different layer when you paste but you can merge that with the other layers and make it a part of the texture. Let's see how that will work. First I'm going to paste in an image that I've had waiting on my clipboard. This is going to be a tattoo. Next, let's make sure that we have new layers in the textures for the tattoo to land on. It's going to be on both the upper body and lower body materials, so I need to put an empty layer into both maps. Double click to open, make a new layer, and give it a name. I'll call it Tattoo. It's always a good idea to name the layers. Save, close, and repeat with the other one. Open. New layer. Name. Save, close. Now use the Move tools to get the model into position so the tattoo is exactly where you want it. I'm going to use a preset up here in the Tool Options bar so that we'll be looking directly at her back. You can always use these, and you can save your own, too, if you want. The camera has them, too, if you prefer to move the camera, not the model. Now I'm just going to resize the tattoo and move it into position on its layer. Finally, when it's perfect, hold down Command, Control on a PC, and tap the E key, or go to Merge Down in the pop-up menu on the right corner of the Layers palette. 
your artwork will fall down onto the image maps that you've selected in the materials, just like that. Let me move her around so that you can see. Now let's look at it on the bottom map. There it is. And on the top map. And there it is again. Finally, you may want to get your perfect textures back out of the 3D layer and save them as normal PSD files, or convert them to something else so you can use them in other applications. It's as easy as anything to do that. Just double-click the texture to open it, and Save As. Hold down the Shift key and hit Command S or Control S on a PC to save the file. Browse to wherever you want it, pick a format, and you're good to go. I'm saving them as PSD files, so I'll have all the layers and the flexibility that goes with them. And that's it! Because this is Photoshop, there's more you can do, of course. There's always more you can do. But this should get you started painting on a model in Photoshop CS4 Extended. I'm Robin Wood, and I hope you found this helpful.